so, so great of you. I can't believe. Is something wrong? I don't have the files. I don't understand. I... Every time I went to do it, guys kept looking at me. I... I kind of chickened out. Oh. Are you mad at me? I'm sorry. No, I, that's okay. I... It was a lot to hope for. I've probably seen too many movies, you know? You meet a guy and you think... <laughs> you found your hero. That was stupid. Who thinks that way? It was just so risky. I kept thinking, this is insane. I'm gonna get shot. What am I doing this for? I'm sorry, it's making me so tense. I could help you with that. Oh, you don't have to. Jesus Christ. Jennifer, hi. Is he here? Who, Clark? He's not, is he? <sighs> I can't believe him. I mean, it's just, it's so rude. Um, would you like to come in? I hate barging in on you like this. No, no, please, please come in. I was just, um, would you like a glass of wine? Oh, sure. Yes, I have white and, and white. That sounds great. Okay. <laughs> you know, I should have called, I really should have, but I realized it's crazy. I do not have your phone number and you're not listed. Well, it's still under my maiden name. Oh, luckily I had your address, but, um, you know, it's just so typical Clark. So he didn't mention, did you even know I was in town? No. Oh, thank you. I guess it was a little bit last minute. I got in yesterday. I'm staying at his apartment. Oh. And he mentioned that we would all get together tonight, the three of us. And then he goes and pulls a Clark. But didn't show up or? Didn't even call. <laughs> so I'm there. I'm waiting. Thank you. I'm waiting. And then I hear your phone messages. No. And I just felt awful. You're very sweet. No, I couldn't stand another second of it. So, is it okay that I'm here? You would tell me, right? You know, I'm glad that you came. I think I think I was getting a little crazy, so. Well, Clark can do that, make a person crazy. I mean, I love him to death, but my lord. <laughs> is he like that with you, too? Oh, he's like that with everybody. I mean, he's such a great, great guy, but he's just missing that one little thing, you know what I mean? I do, I do. Yeah, it's just those few missing notes when it comes to social graces. Yeah, he's always been that way. If I'm saying too much, you're gonna stop me, right? No, 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 believe me, okay. I'm dying to know, dying. Oops, empty. Now, should I open another? Why not? Yeah, why not? Oh, so did Clark tell you about the job application? Um. No, but, um, I heard your messages. And I know he's pretty serious about that stuff. Sure is. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. What? I'm gonna hand it in Mary. Check. Where is the Clark's Grove? Ah, husband, Clark Westerfeld, double check. <laughs> Husband's occupation, and hall monitor for the goddamn FBI. <laughs> Martha, can I be a little bit of a Betty Budinsky? Yes, Jennifer, your family. I just, I know Clark, and I know how much his job means to him. Right, I'm his wife. I should mean more to him than some dumb job. And you do, I know you do, but... It's none of my business. No, you know what, okay, go ahead. It's just not some dumb job, you know that, probably more than I do. And if you check married, then they'll do a background on Clark, and he's not allowed to be married to anyone inside the department. 